Hello everybody and welcome to another episode here on the Talk Daily. My name is Eddie and I've been out for a minute. Life will not work. Anyways, uh, let's get to it. Uh, so, um, bring a trailer. Yeah, I think this is uh, one of my favorite websites to look at cars. Honestly, I'm kind of a... Ooh, sorry, I had to click on that. It's, 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 I have to. I had to click on it. You don't excuse me. I'm making a video and it's just doing. There's something I had to click on. I, I like them. Our, our 34 nice cars. If you don't know what it is, bring a trailer is a, is a place where you could kind of like an auction for cars, but it's not just any cars, usually enthusiast cars. Cars are uh, not your daily average car. Probably if it's your daily average car, probably something that's collectible version of it or would be something that hasn't been driven. Very low mileage, like a time capsule. In this example, it's the Skyline. So um, 1999. If you've never driven one of those, it's it's a nice car. But anyways, um, I just have to click on it because these things fetch a lot of money because now we could bring it to the States. A lot of this is a V-Spec N1. I won't be surprised. Like already, current bid, 125000 I mean, Yeah, so anyways, um, yeah, I'll bring a trailer so they have a lot of cars. So um, let's see. S2000. S2000 will sell a lot. That will fetch a lot of money if this car hasn't been driven. Then again, this is CR. The club race, if you notice, it does not have a convertible top. It's literally the way you see it. And uh, the nice car is driven S1000. Not the CR Sport, but I've driven enough S1000. They're fun. They're really fun to drive. Uh, and this is F22C1. Yeah, it's, it's a nice car, man. So, um, current bit 23,000. It's These cars will fetch a lot of money. The less mileage on these cars, the more. The, and it's kind of a bidding, so you don't know what you're getting. Some, some of them have a reserve. The Honda 1996 Civic SIR5 Speed. It's a right-hand drive. All the stuff is coming from Japan, man. Let's see. Is it really coming from Japan? It could be some from Canada. Yeah. Pretty nice. It has a B16A. Again, these cars, if you're, wondering, if you're thinking about these cars and you're thinking to yourself that, oh, yeah, it's worth the money. Current bid, 10000 yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I mean, I really want to pay more for this, but right hand drive, if you, if, uh, I mean, if, for me, honestly, right hand drive, when everybody drives on the left, it's kind of a, I'm not a really a big fan. If you're driven a right hand drive, when everybody drives on the left, it's, it's making the left turn becomes a little bit tricky, especially if you don't have the arrow, the, the guide you're making the left. I'm not a big fan of that, but uh, some people get used to it. Um, let's see, B16A is a great engine. Again, these cars are basically, they used to be competitively, competitively fast cars. They used to be a reasonably fast, reasonably priced, quick vehicle. Nowadays, they are it's just a relic from the past that you drive for the feel. You know, how the car makes you feel. So the more stock it is, the better. The more highly modified, the less the car has value because modification usually don't age well. And this is modified with um it's kind of difficult right like so what am i talking about let's say this is the vehicle i'm going to talk about this right let's say somebody modified it and put some lowering springs and uh some really loud exhaust like this has a retainer stock exhaust it put some aftermarket wheels it and usually the wheels depends on the brand but again they don't really age that well the suspension will probably if it's lowered and it's not done right it's very difficult to lower a car unless you have double wishbone suspension and it doesn't really affect the travel, but in this case will affect the travel, will affect the drivability, the bushings probably will be shot after all these years. So usually modifying your vehicle doesn't really make it age that well. So the more stock, the more it holds its value. Uh, looking more at this car. Yeah, I mean, look at the upholstery. Look at it. This car hasn't really been driven that much. And as it says, what, 43,000 mile? 34,000 miles, excuse me, 34. There you go. 34,000. That's nothing. The car looks nice. Seatbelt looks really clean. Yeah, I mean, this car looks super clean. It will be fun to drive, although the older one from this will be even more fun to drive. I think, I really think the 80s Honda front wheel drive are fantastic, but this engine for sure is uh, that's a cherry on top. Look at it. It doesn't have any headers, nothing. This is just the way it was built. And again, it's difficult to find these cars unmodified. Uh, without any some aftermarket headers because you notice know, this header has what a heat shield aftermarket headers don't have heat shield easy some people would wrap them if they have the patience uh but most of the time the heat just headers are sitting there and they get real rusty these headers will last the lifetime of the vehicle 
unless you live in a, some rusty, super rusty area. I don't see any issues. Um, again, it's just fantastic. It looks beautiful. The stock exhaust, I mean, wow. I expected some rust. Um, if you've never been, um, again, I'm assuming, let's see what the court, country of origin of this vehicle. So let's read about it a little bit. Let's scroll up and let's read a little bit about it. Saying something drive was imported from Japan. Okay, I am just shocked. There is no rust. How is this possible? This vehicle was stored somewhere or maybe they just removed the rust because if you've ever been to Japan, I, I, I've been to Japan a million times. So this is what you do. Um, it sounds kind of weird, but when you're in Japan and you're walking around and you just see a car, and I, I mean, I, I love cars. So I say, ooh, I like this car. So I, so I, I go down my hands and my knees like I'm about to do a push-up and I look underneath the car and everybody looks at me kind of weird, but it's okay. Uh, and Asia's like, look, wow, you know, I want to see the, how it looks underneath. And most of the time, they all look super rusty. It's not because the owner or the individual who owns it is not taking care of it or doing something wrong. It's just the, the nature of the country, right? Um, usually a lot of, there's a lot of coastal area, there's a lot of rain and, uh, they put, do put salt when it is rain sometimes. So you get a lot of water and throughout the years, rust just happens, you know, it's not a dry place. Like what I live right now is super dry. So we don't have this issue as much unless you're close to the beach area. So yeah, looking at this underneath shot, I'm, I'm suspecting they did some cleaning, but I mean, it looks pretty good for this age this car definitely has been stored for a good amount of time let's keep reading so this vehicle was imported from japan and um required by current owner on bet so the guy bought it in april 24 and now he is selling it okay so it shows 34 34 miles wait i was saying thousand this whole time it only has 34 miles wait what Okay, this is this is ridiculous. That's it. <laughs> this is a brand new car. This car hasn't been driven. This car has not been driven. Somebody bought this car, and it just didn't drive it. Okay, it was probably a collector. Or somebody that, that is nuts. Wow, let that sink in. Thirty-four. How? How do you? Thirty-four mile. Wow, this is definitely a collector. They bought it. Someone in Japan had this car and just sat in the garage. Wow. It's amazing. Really? See, so, there you go. They bring a trailer. Just obviously this vehicle is probably going to go. Somebody who would like to collect the JDM cars is going to sit in uh, some garage. Looking gorgeous. Uh, wow. That's, 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 I never seen 34 miles. That's, I mean, this was bought. Somebody bought it. An importer from Japan to US prior to being offered in BAT in November 2022 and it was acquired by its current owner in BAT in April 2024. Now showing 34 miles. The car is finished. That is nuts. I wonder how much this car fetched. Let's see. How much was it sold for? So the bid was for 30000 28,000, whatever, let's say 30,000. And then in 2024, same vehicle, let's see, 30,000. So they made like two Gs. Yeah, see, so he's just sitting. Yeah, that's, that's gnarly. Let's see how much he's expecting to make. He's probably expecting to make a couple of Gs off of it. It's just gnarly. I mean, for $30,000, you are getting a brand new car, and this car would last a long time, but I don't think people are going to buy it to drive it. It's going to sit somewhere, a climate control showroom. Where is it going to sit there? It's ridiculous, <laughs> the mileage on it. Yeah. This. So anyways, what it, what else it has? A five-speed, of course, manual transaction. It could include the um, rear wing, fog light, power folding side mirrors, that's a thing they had in Japan. We didn't have that here in these civics. Yeah. Wow. Uh, automatic climate control. Again, what I mean by that right now, if you, if you read the automatic climate control, that's very natural, but it really wasn't. Honda had the little slidey thingy and this one has the buttons. So you can see it right there. All the controls, it's usually like you have buttons on it. The old school one has a little slide. And what that does was literally a cable that went to the box that sits like on inside 
okay, dude, before we go into much details, you have your heater and you have your, your condenser and there's a box in there and you let air go out of the heater and through the air conditioning and the heater or just air conditioning straight or just air from the outside. And you had a little flap and that controlled by a little cable linkage. And that's what the cars we had here had the little slide. You could almost hear when you slide, you can mechanically you could hear the flap opening and closing. In Japan, they kind of had a different system, an electronic one with actuator. Uh, we don't have that here in the state. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, this this is a fantastic example. Uh, and it doesn't have any aftermarket radio. Of course, of course not. This car hasn't been touched by anybody. It'd be interesting what's the backstory behind it. Like, wh what did they do in this car? The car is finished in green and black metallic with dual overcam Vita, side graphic, feature include the remounted wing. Oh, okay. There's a scratch is present on the left fender. Uh, oh, I see it. Oi. Is that the scratch? What about Defender? I don't know. I mean, that's the old quarter panel. I don't know what this picture shows, but. Hmm. I mean, it's not the end of the world, to be honest with you. Uh, directional five spoke uh, wrapped in 195 Yokohama Advan 841 tires with three 2000 production date codes. Yeah. Um, do not drive with old tires. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of collectors know that, but um, uh, old tires are a ticking time bomb. Um, yeah, you, they're all dried and cracked and, you know, tires hold a lot of pressure and you have the weight of the car and you're doing braking, accelerating and the, the, the force is going when the tires are spinning. It's exponential the faster you go. So yeah, it's, mm -mm. uh, but again, I think this car is really just going to be towed into a location where it's going to sit and collect, uh, braking is handled by a four wheel disc brake and a car equipped with a rear sway bar. Okay, um, you have a front and a rear sway bar. It should. Uh, should have a front sway bar. I don't know if you can see it from the engine from the shop picture or something. You can see it. Nah, it's fine. Too busy. What else is there? Um, leather wrapped steering wheel with the red stitching. Gorgeous. Um, this is when Honda, I don't know. I don't think they were able to do the emblem with the airbag, but this airbag doesn't even have an airbag. Steering wheel with a stitch frame, a tachometer, RPM, and a gauge. I don't think this. They should have an airbag. That's really nice. It's really neat. Usually you have that big fat airbag, but this is pretty good. 8,250 RPM red line. Yeah, this engine loves to ring. A six digit odometer shows 60. Oh my God. Approximately one of which was added during recent ownership. I'm sorry. He added one mile. Approximately one of which was added during current ownership. The guy added one mile to the car. That is nuts. I don't know if I have this vehicle, I would just drive it. But to be honest with you, I would just drive or buy it and drive it. This car will drive fine. Uh, but what I live, this car is very sought after, man. I mean, if you're going to drive it, just make sure you don't park it, leave it somewhere. Although it doesn't really stick out as much, except for it being right-hand drive. But yeah, I wouldn't. I would fully insure it and uh, baby this car, put it in the garage. The 1.6 Libby 1894 dual VTEC, yeah, 168 horsepower, 116 foot pound of torque. Yeah, these engines really never made any torque. Uh, they're not really a torquey engine whatsoever, but they you just rev them. I mean, the, the 168 horsepower, that all comes from the top end. You are going to go to 8,000 something RPM to make that. So you're not making that at 3,000 RPM. You know, my 3,000 RPM, this engine is doing nothing. I mean, your maximum torque, you're probably getting the 116 foot pound of torque at 4,000 RPM, you know, probably. And then, uh, yeah, the, the rest of the horsepower all comes in at the end. Uh, power is delivered to the front wheels via five speed S4C manual transaction, 441 ratio with a final drive ratio. I just think it's a beauty. I think this car is a beauty. It really is. It's a beautiful car. So, anyways, um, this one bring a trailer. Um, I was going to review newer cars, but honestly not as interesting. Some new cars are, these cars are fun. They really are fun. And a fraction of the price, which you get for a brand new car. Like if you're shopping for a brand new car and you're like, I want a, I want a daily commuter where I, I mean, you really can't go wrong with this is that air conditioning. It's fun to drive. You can ring it all day. And, uh, I mean, these things are not fast. A zero to 60. This is probably, I don't know. Hey, go, I don't know, go, go ahead with like, I don't know, seven seconds, something like that. I mean, it, they're not that quick, but it doesn't matter. They're so much fun to drive. So I would, 
If you want to, and nothing's gonna break in this car. And all the parts, other parts, hard to find. Mm, I mean, they're not as easy. Uh, definitely, uh, exterior parts would be difficult. But just don't crash it. You know, don't crash it. Drive safe. Be safe. <laughs> you know, uh, don't be reckless. And but you know, of course, you can control other people being reckless. But uh, all things being considered, I think this is a great car. It's it's a beautiful. It's a classic. And I love it. Yeah, this video will go on forever. I can talk about these cars forever. But yeah, I just want to bring this up. Oh, by the way, this visor in Japan, they have that a lot because of the rain. You could roll down a little bit and you get some fresh air without the rain getting in. That little visor you see on the uh, on the mirrors. I have that in my car, by the way. I think it's fantastic. Does it have the rear windshield wiper? I do believe it has a rear windshield wiper, which is something that I truly love. There's nothing better than rear windshield wiper. Just one button and you can see behind you very clear. Are awesome. Uh, and the antenna, I believe the antenna is right there. Do you see that little thing sticking out? Yeah, that's the antenna. Right there. Wee! The antenna. Yes, yeah, it's pretty. With the fog lights. Yeah, whoever gets this car, I hope they drive it. I don't know. Well, I might have tell them what to do with their stuff, but it's a really nice, nice, nice car. So, best of luck for the sale and best of luck for the new owner. Um, I mean, it's. You know, if you're going to plan to drive it daily, I I would imagine the hoses, but, you know, I mean, corrosion, I don't know. Um, it hasn't been driven that much, so, you know, I don't, just a reasonable tune-up. Should be fine. It's change of fluid. I can't imagine anything else. I mean, as long as they started it once in a while, it shouldn't be that much of an issue. And the battery looks fine, so looks. You know, you can't tell battery by looks, but I don't see oxidation from this shot, but. Yeah, this is, this is a fantastic car. And I do believe it comes with ABS. I don't, I can't see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that, right. Yeah. Need a bigger shot. Yeah, I didn't mention about the ABS, but should have ABS. Let's see, five speed, at all wheel, four wheel, this. Let ABS. It should have ABS. And for the engine bay, I'm looking for ABS modulator, but the module. Which is basically, you see like a big thing and you see a bunch of brake lines. You could follow the, when booster, you can see just basically brake line going. From this, it doesn't look like, you see that? It goes straight, so it might not. I see two lines here. Yeah, it might not have ABS, which is a, not a good thing. But uh, you could you could correct me in the comments below. if you, you I'm pretty sure there's a lot of Honda enthusiasts out there who would like immediately correct me and say, oh, it does have ABS. I just can't really spot the module. Um, I see that little unit right here. Um, yeah, I mean, hmm. anyways, but, uh, I just can't get over how clean it is. I just can't get over how clean it is. Anyway, best of luck for the sale. And I'll probably make more videos about bringing a trailer. I like bringing a trailer. It's more interesting than, uh, the newer cars. Newer cars are all fast and cool, but we're getting to that point with new cars where I'm not sure what you're going to do with them. I mean, at the end of the day, you're still commuting. You're going to do the same thing you do with this car. And, you know, talk about mile per gallon. What a new car costs 60000 This car is probably going to cost you thirty. So you $30,000 difference. I mean, uh, how do you save that much on gas? Uh, I mean, if it's for safety, uh, I, I don't know. I think it just, um, yeah, I, th I think this older car is a little bit more fun. Maybe because I'm old and I'm poop. But I think uh, those older cars are it's just... They're just more fun. They're more character. They're not as fast. They're not. They don't have all the high tech stuff. But nothing you can upgrade. Anyways, uh, as always, uh, let me know what you in the comments below. If does this car have ABS? Please correct me. I don't. I didn't see it in the picture. My gut feeling says it should have ABS, but I didn't see it. And uh, again, yeah, this on Bring a Trailer. I have a link for it in the comments below. And check out Bring a Trailer. I'm not sponsored by Bring a Trailer, by the way, whatsoever. I'm just really a car enthusiast. And I think Bring a Trailer is a, has a treasure cove of cars. So, here as always, uh, take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.